Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I want to show you just how easy it is to cook black pudding slices in the air fryer. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. Now let's talk black pudding. I'm an absolute huge black pudding fan. And often when uh, there's a family fry up going on, I'm just interested in the black pudding. And absolutely gutted if it's one of these fry up places and it doesn't include black pudding on the plate because it's just my absolute favorite. And I love the fact that I can grab a few slices of black pudding from the butchers, load them into the air fry and cook them that way. Or alternatively, I can grab a roll of black pudding and cook it from frozen in the air fryer. And as I mentioned, I'm a huge black pudding fan. This is the favorite ones of mine that you can get sliced up at the supermarket. And all you really have to do is load it into the air fryer and the air fryer will do the business for you. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to use a knife. Right, so use a knife to stop it. Oh, that's something I find funny on the packaging. Is it actually says perfect for barbecues? Well, nobody has ever invited me to a barbecue before and done black pudding. I'm really offended now that nobody has. So honestly, black pudding is actually my favorite English breakfast item. I'm really not a fan of the full English breakfast, I'm just quite happy just with some uh, sausages and some black pudding. And I know people find that weird. And it's like, whenever my mum did a fry up, no, don't forget the black pudding, otherwise I are eating it. But yeah, black pudding is one of my favorites. So to do black pudding in the air fryer, it's literally as simple as placing them in the basket like this so that they're spread out and not touching each other. And if you head over to recipethis.com and search for black pudding, You'll actually find instructions there on how to defrost them in the air fryer in case yours are frozen and coming direct from the freezer. And you can do that with the tubes as well, not just with slices. So, there's your black pudding in the air fryer. Let's turn on your air fryer. You're looking for a temperature of 180 Celsius, which is about 360 Fahrenheit. And then you want to set the time to nine minutes and then press start. And we have beeped. And there you have it. Perfectly cooked black pudding in the air fryer. And if you head over to recipethis.com, um, you'll find a recipe for air fry English breakfast which of course includes black pudding, scrambled eggs, and all your other favorite breakfast items. So the black pudding is cooled enough, so I'm dying to tuck into it now to see how it tastes. Mm. That is so nice. You gotta try air fry black pudding. It's just really, really good. And like I say, it's just so easy to cook. It's easier than cooking frozen food in there. And you can do about five slices at once and it's just perfect for loading onto your breakfast and then of course check out recipe this check out our english breakfast recipe on there because we've got the full english breakfast with the black pudding the scrambled eggs the sausages the bacon the whole shebang all cooked together in the air fryer Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. 
and if you want to know about all our future videos then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 